a minute early, but I don't think anybody would really care. And there we go. So yeah, as the title implies, Wingling Dragon is running another test of his Saipan event. Which today I'm going to try and do with aircraft. And a bit of ships as well. So, actually, no, the B5 and should be free to use. So, for those that aren't familiar with this event yet or haven't seen me stream the previous time, Wingling Dragon, a air sim content creator, mostly Twitch streamer, is making an event for somebody else, which is a mixed naval and air simulator event. Of course, around Saipan. Hello there, Nick. So if I want to join it, it's just filtered by Simulator Battle. There you have a Wingling Dragon. No password on it this time. Kind of surprise me. I will actually have to double check if that is the correct event, if I can find my phone. I cannot find it, but it will. But I believe this should be the correct one, although the three of them. Hmm. How do I double check this the best? I could as well just join it and see if that if it's correct or not. It is, okay. And I have been saying I wanted to experiment with some other stuff other than naval, so why not try out some air sim flying in this event? And if it doesn't work out due to lag or other reasons, or if they need another ship, I can just always jump into the Akazuki. Do we have any other? I do still have to read my controls, of course. To the kill. Continue anyways. And then we unpause that and recenter it. There we go. It'll be a bit awkward every time I have to look over to look at chat, but I will. Let's try it out. Our rear gunner is shooting something. Do I remember all my keybinds? There we go. That ship seems kind of low in the water for a Japanese carrier. Actually, quite a few of them do. But yeah, this is a joint naval and air event. We are early to it, it officially starts at 9, so in 6 more minutes. But if I'm here, I might as well try and do it. I've been wanting to try out the air part of this for quite a while now. But yeah, other than that, it should still be the normal stream. The event starts officially in six minutes, I believe. The custom battle is already open though, and that's what I'm currently in. It didn't have a password on it, which I found kind of surprising. But then again. 
Uh, I, I'm very late. I put up the plan thing very late, later than usual. I got a bit distracted. I think I announced it 10 minutes before I actually started it, so yeah. Sorry about that. Is that a fight or is it anti-air defense? It seems to be anti-air defense. Yeah. It is it's it's not YouTube to blame for this one, it's it's me to blame. I am never going to get close to these ships, but I might as well try. But yeah, if you want to find this custom battle lobby, there's only four of them at the moment, just filter the custom battles by simulator difficulty, and then look for Wingling Dragon, um, the guy on my team. Wingling Dragon. And if you find his custom, that's all. Right there. That is an awful lot of tracer. Um, for as far as I know, hopefully less lag, and I think the, sh the spawn point costs are a bit different. I'm going to get to the available vehicle list in just a second. I'll just try and get a runoff or a torpedo run in. Empty air fire. Something from the left there. Oh yeah, that's VT. You do not want to take VT straight to the face. I think I need to think about dropping the torpedo soon. Very soon even. Uh, let's do it with that. Ah, damn it. I forgot how to actually drop my torpedo. There we go. I selected it. But it's too late. Okay, let's just stay out and I'll get the vehicle list for you. Got my torpedo off, but it's never going to hit. Let's just pause my track IR for a second. And let me find that vehicle list. Hmm, how will I get this to use the question? I could copy paste it in the chat, but it's a bit difficult to see. It should be the same vehicle list as last time. But can I... If you give me a few seconds to maybe a minute, I'll get you the vehicle list. So just give me a moment. Oh, you found it blue, good. Yeah, I'll get the list ready for other people as well. Since it isn't the actual event starting yet, it's just I think getting ready for it. I do have to actually be careful and get out of it. I'll actually go back to the hangar anyways. Because I might want to actually start it proper with everybody here. As it's one minute to starting.
I really should have made these lists before I start the streaming, but oh well. Popping in the stuff here. And I'll have to design up for you in just a second. And I guess they're now going to try and get people in. Hello there, Bill. Joining us just in time before this event starts, I think. I hope. Uh, where is it? Where did I put it? Um, you should be able to find it if you go to simulator difficulty. Actually, let me just exit and I'll show you how it is. So you go to custom battles, click simulator battles, and it's this one right here. It should be really easy to find. And since it doesn't even have password on it, you can just join it. Ah, on Xbox. I don't think that should be a problem, really. Oh, does Xbox not allow custom missions, maybe? Um, another option is if you just send me a message in-game and maybe I can get you in that way. Like, if you just send me a message in-game, I think I should be able to just right-click your name and get you in the custom. I really am curious when they're actually going to start. There you go. Now I think I should be able to, there we go, invite the session. Now you should have an invite for the custom battle. There you go. And I was just going to work on getting the lineups on screen as well. Even if it would be a bit scuffed. That's not what I wanted. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to get the last one up here. There we go. And the lineup should be appearing on screen in a moment. If I manage to click the right buttons, it is. I think we should have it. Let me just double check. Nothing else is on the background. B 
These should be the available vehicles. If they're readable, if you can't read them, just tell me and I'll make them a bit larger. But yeah, it's quite extensive, both for aircraft and for ships. I think I'll make the American one a bit bigger, but it's because that's quite small. Same with the Japanese ships, really. There we go. That should be a bit more readable. So now I think we're just waiting on the actual event to start. So I, you should, I think, it should be pretty readable what every single vehicle is. The numbers you see next to them, that's their spawn point cost. So you do have to bring at least one vehicle with a zero next to it, or else you won't be able to play. Oh, don't worry. You'll you'll be able to leave, Blue. It's, it's no problem. I'm not even entirely sure if he's ready to actually do it already. Oh, really? I really don't have the slightest clue how profitable Naval is it with, like, do you run a premium account, Bill? If you're a free-to-play player, I can understand it being quite expensive, especially in some of them. But yeah. Is he actually streaming or not? Yeah, totally free. Yeah. I can understand it being a bit pricey than every now and then. Let's see if we can find Wingling live. There he is. The thing is, I heard that he's like... I think he's talking about the economy stuff on his stream at the moment. So I'm not quite sure what's going on for this event. I'm excited for Ise, very excited for Ise. The fifth 14 inch battleship under my uh, under my belt for the Japanese. Five out of eight. I think these lines have been up for long enough. If you need them again, you'll just have to tell me. Let's go back to the normal screen, there we go. I do hope he actually put in the right time for the start of his event. Just double, double check. You got the good throw, eh? I'm not entirely sure what I think about the throw, eh? It's a weird ship. If, if it's between the two premium ships, the Aigle and the Dugue throw, eh? I definitely say the um, Aigle is more worth it if you're not sure what to get. Uh, but the throw should theoretically work if the matchmaking is really good enough. Oh yeah, Bill. You don't want to know how long it took me to actually make that screen transition work. I have to figure out how to do that. I think I, I, think I spent this half a day looking through Google, looking through the video tutorials, just trying to get it to work. The way I wanted it to. Yeah, now we're just waiting to see if they'll actually host this event. I'm sorry for this. Actually, let me... Hold on. And I'll quit for a second, because it's kind of annoying when the music keeps cutting out. And I could just enable an option. Is it in sound settings? Probably. There we go. Now I'll just keep playing music, even if I'm doing something else. Let me go back to the custom. There 
go. I really hope he put the right time in. Because he um he actually sent me the two links in the DM earlier today. It's at 9 p.m. and 9 a.m. for the second one. But I might join it. And it's currently 10 past 9 p.m. But it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people in here yet. Oh well. What I might actually go and do is customize my aircraft a little bit. And my ships as well. Let's see. Mm, how do I usually decorate my aircraft again? And again, it doesn't really matter to do it now. I just want to double check if all my loaders are correct. No bombs, that's perfect. And D4Y1 only has D250. You'd be very tempted to take the 500 kilo bomb with a D4Y, but that's the AP, well, the semi armor piercing bomb, so it has less filler than the 250. And Kazuki should be alright, Oba's alright as well. So now we just have to wait for the event to actually start. Yeah, I get the, I get the feeling because what what he's currently doing on stream is going over the economy change stuff, and the whole um, activism around it, well, activity around it. So I'm not sure when we're supposed to start. If it's the case that they got the event I'm wrong, which I'm kind of thinking is the case, I'll just play a few coastal matches before actually starting. I'll play a coastal match or two before. Because I don't think he's gonna start it well. I'll keep an eye on it, but I'll just play another lineup than what I'm planning to. So that's a bit weird for sure. Nothing too bad, I guess. I'll just switch this over to my normal controls. There we go. And we'll play some coastal matches whilst waiting. And I think this is exactly the lineup I want to grind this coastal with. Spay, Borderer. That's about it, really. Yeah, sorry about that. We can't actually start the event just yet. But I'll keep an eye on it when it starts. You might have gotten the hour wrong. Okay, joined the battle late, but it's still fine. Secure the ship for sea. Engine, flank speed. I forgot that frigates aren't actually a thing you want to play in arcade, but they will. Destroyer! 
We can try. In the meantime, I can talk about the other new stuff we found on the Duff server. So let me just turn down the volume a little bit. There's been a few more data mine stuff on the Duff server. Not really new ships, but other interesting stuff. Like apparently um, naval strellas for Germany, which might insinuate they get a um, another Russian boat in their lineup with strellas. Also some new UI texts, apparently for when you shoot over, you shoot under, when you straddle a target, when you hit a target, and also target heading and speed, which I am interested to see what that's about. I'm getting the sneaking suspicion we haven't seen nearly everything yet for the next upcoming update on the Death Server. I should not really be firing sap at Grisham. It's way too fragile to fire sap at it. That's dangerous, that's very dangerous. We all know from the last time I played Coastal that they have very fast torpedoes. Sink it and sink it fast. There we go. My connection is not liking me today. But we'll see what will happen for the rest of tonight. I think after this match I'll just wait, stand by for when the event starts. But it shouldn't be that long. Is this Destroyer Leopard? It is. Does the D3 have torpedoes? It does kind of look like it. As a 40 left, you should not be taking a fight with a frigate.
I hear an aircraft, but I think it's friendly, this friendly. The turbine is being a bit weird on our flanks like that. But nothing much I can do about it. Presence. And I've been flooding apparently. Should be more aware of my left hand side of the screen there. With an aircraft up, I'd like my AA gunners to actually focus the aircraft. the engine in the meantime. I don't think a lag 3 can have any ordnance that really threatens me. Some smaller bombs maybe, but that's about it. A bit higher. I don't know, those were quite good. Goes the I-15. And we continue on. That as a 40, maybe, and claim to kill on him. Before I got sunk by the enemy destroyers, probably. from the rear but we've touched them pretty easily. And what to do about that lag three just circling around. go. The eye gunners managed to snap him eventually. this point. Whether that crane is in the way or not from our target now, doesn't matter. I think by the time this match is over, their event should be getting underway. Yep. Ping again. Boat ahead. 2, 
Ja. It seems the event got cancelled. Because of little turnout. That's a real shame. Well, British coastal vessels it is for the rest of the stream then. Did I get another arc kill whilst I wasn't looking? Good. Yes, mission completed. Return to base. Yeah, they need a lot of. They need a lot of players for that event to really make it work or to really test it proper. How much RP was that? That's a good amount of RP. Seven thousand. Humor of those, and we'll get there. So that's a real shame that they couldn't get the event started. We'll do it another time then. Just gonna double check the room's probably closed by now as well. Yep. Oh well. What I'll try and do, because I'm never going to stream that early in the morning for the next test, I might try and record it. I might try and record the next event if it actually goes through. Well, oh, I forgot my thing was over there. There's little footrests under my desk that I have to move under out of the way if I want to use my flight sim setup. Just bumped into it with my feet. Alrighty. British coastal it is. I do have some RP boosters laying around, but I don't really want to use RP boosters on spaded ships. I'd rather use them when I'm grinding ships. Getting to night time here as well, 9.30 p.m. Still early enough though. Hmm. Let's go with Brave Border as the first spawn because it's not a good map to spawn the HMS Spay on. I should try and move towards Bravo, although I will I reach it in time. And Brave Board is a lot faster than I thought it was in arcade. All hands to battle stations. Engines, flank speed. Hell yeah, I um, sadly the event didn't go through because not enough people turned up. Sorry about that. I should actually try and change that title. As soon as I'm out of this battle. Um, yeah, the thing is, there is a second event at 9 a.m. if you're in the same time zone as me. There's there's going to be another attempt to test that event out at 9 a.m. tomorrow, which I'm not going to stream because I'm not really of my uh, habit to stream that early, but I will try and record. Yeah, I know, it's a real shame. But it's, it's, I don't really mind it at the same time. He, like, Wingling really does all, puts a lot of effort in that event. And I bet for him it's kind of annoying as well that there wasn't quite enough turn up. Being a bit too fast for my guns to be stable. Come on, there we go. 
Thunderbolt as well, which is going to melt me in seconds. Oh, my bridge got knocked out. Lovely. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm respawning, let me... I can't... Ch mm, can I change my thumbnail just like this? I can. But I'm not going to bother trying to actually figure, get a new um, thumbnail set up. I'll do that maybe after this battle. Do I actually have a spare British coastal thumbnail set up? Yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll see to changing the um, settings for the stream after I'm done with the battle. Outside of the those guys, however, I can maybe arty them. There we go. Eighty six got destroyed. Gonna wait for my arty to hit. Might hit the Russian river boat. Yep, I saw as much. Control. I see 497 has been knocked out, so it's just a Russian river boat now. Okay, that's a bit of a extreme turn for one to do, but that's fine. PT-59 needs to be dealt with now, and of course he's looking this way. That's right, good enough. And now going over to the spay. Nope, I do need to get the close spawn point. I don't want to spawn out in the middle of nowhere. Not with this vessel. Alrighty. I am not going to crash an aircraft into something, since that is not the way I do it. I also can't spawn an aircraft yet. Um, I live in the country of Belgium, and that should tell you enough. That should be a hit. Almost. He's stationary. No, he's going forward again. He turned around, maybe. He's bobbing and weaving. That's what the Thunderbolt is doing. Yeah. Seems to be complaining about deep crosses, so I'm just gonna leave him be. Pashka, that's not, not quite as nice. Because it seems to be going straight for me.
Okay, I need to start dodging. I think he just threw his bombs off. So we just hard turn. There we go. He has more bombs where they come from though, by the looks of it. But I have more shells where mine came from. And I think... I don't know. That was a big bomb. And of course, because bridge repair is a normal repair for some reason, I can't actually... I can't stop the flooding. Because some genius at some point decided that bridge repairs should be tied to normal repairs and thus add a demultiplier to your other repairs. Well, that makes me so annoyed. Luckily, the flooding seems to not be sinking me because it's forward. Not in the middle of my ship. But it does mean I have no real gun firepower. Keep losing my front gun. Put my gun at an all target because that guy's 100% lining up torpedoes. Yep, I can already see him in the water. And there we go. PTA-12 is being a lot faster than I think it is. That should be more like it, but a bit too low. Never mind. My shell traces don't quite seem to be matching up with what I'm actually shooting. And there we go. I'm going to fire HE VT them first to try and knock out his guns. Therefore, I really should be shooting in the rear of the ship. I don't actually want to hit anything. Because I can get the kill, I just don't want to... Yeah, he'll probably sink me with those bombs. Yep. I got him anyways. And we have one last spawn in the Typhoon, but 500 pound bombs are really not going to cut it, are they? Eh, better than nothing. Very nice. There's nothing quite like depth charging a destroyer that's distracted. And I get the feeling we are not going to win this battle. Let's see if we can bomb that guy first. Yeah, this is our case, so all bombs drop individually anyways. It 
Since he is stationary, I can just spread my bomb one front and one aft. So one there, one there. But Suki, that should be quite damaging. But of course now it takes six minutes to reload because it is a fighter and not an attacker. Uh, patrol ship is most likely going to be a Groza, which I can't do anything against. Same as that guy. Well, let's just fly into one of them, I guess. Yeah, I just had bombs on fighters. It takes six minutes to reload an arcade. Whilst on attackers and strike aircraft and bombers, it takes 30 seconds, depending on your crew skill. But now, let's actually change this stream title, shall I? Do I have a British coastal vessel um, thumbnail just laying around? I kind of got the feeling I won't. I have one of the Asheville on it. I do have some coastal... Thumbnails laying around. Just non, no British coastal. That'll have to do, I guess. There it is. Which one is that? Okay, let's change the name so people don't get confused anymore. I think that should do it. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, for your guns, I kind of expected it to be a defeat, not gonna lie. Still pretty alright RP. Still a lot of RP to go, but I'm getting 4,000, 5,000. Should be doable. I'm not going to be pl planning on playing Churchill at all today. Does this have any interesting coastal fleets? Not really. Any interesting planes for 3 or 3-3? Three, three. The new improved bow fighter might be interesting. Let's take that. Maybe change out the Faramel for something else as well. This holds 3-7, so that's not going to work. It'll just be like this then. I actually didn't check if the Typhoon could be swapped out for anything better. PEG is a good coastal map. Although I kind of want to try out the Grey Goose first. Although I shouldn't, because the research penalty for um, for going up two ranks is really high. So I might as well try to get the most out of my rank 4s. 
Waters are relatively calm, that's always good to see. But I think I'm going to have to use this boat as a more defensive type rather than aggressive. Although water does come, I should just go for it. And there we go, artillery struck the target. I think of one of the ranging shots that struck him dead on. Perfect. Direct hit. Dangerous shallows ahead. And I have more than enough speed to make it into the cap. For some extra RP. Oh, we're being art distracted, of course. Although it seems fine. Closer target, so much easier to hit, but it's already been sunk. The 204 is a very large target to still have coastal DMs or damage models, that's fine. Okay, two torpedoes ahead. Just gonna turn for the G5 just in case. There are quite a few enemy destroyers around. There they are. Uh, let's already strike there. And throw out some torpedoes. Got a torpedo boat, might as well use it. There we go. One, two. PT6. It'll be easy enough to deal with 240s, never mind. He melted me faster than I thought he would. And we'll use Spay on the side where we don't have all those destroyers. Target on fire. The torpedo might have hit target. And I didn't press the to battle button. There we go. Decent enough run in the brave border. Chair being creaky again. Catalini, you don't see many of those flying around in arcade and not successfully bombing something either. Although the Aquila was probably one of the best targets to go for. Let's 
seems as though the Mega is just going to go straight into my anti air, trying to face this Mar around. It should be on target. There we go. Get lower. as the story had 3,000 meters, but that's definitely 5,000. Am I missing a target? I don't think I am. Can I detonate this Mitsuki? Closer to the Amarak, although engine hits will be more than fine as well. And it's got bomb. G5 ran aground by the looks of it, and game's over. Not as good of as a RP hole, but I think that's because I wasn't playing the Spey. And Fiji would have been a good map to just force spawn the Spey. Oh well. Maybe I'll do better next match. Connection dropped again for a few seconds there, I saw. This is actually a good map for the spay. As I can just get into the coastal area really quickly. Hold your helm. I stay for. Four enemy destroyers and a whole bunch of coastal vessels. Five enemy destroyers. There is indeed an enemy destroyer over there. But I want to try and hit some coastal vessels.
Okay, our friendly coastals are being sunk. Which is not good for them, but it does mean I have more opportunities to sink the enemy coastals. So I'm not going to complain just yet. The thing is, there's a lot of dangerous torpedo threats over there. I think V990 is currently the ship of the fastest torpedoes in game. When? I'm not quite sure. Because we have a lot of 15 inch to cover as well. And a few more 14 inch. Um, when it comes to the other nations, I mean, like, we still have the Turpets and the Bismarck, we still have the Queen Elizabeth class, the Revenge class, is it, or is it the R class, whatever it's called? Um, you know, the class Repulse was a part of. Oop. Speaking of fast torpedoes, there they are. Damn missiles. Yeah, I kind of get the feeling we're going to have to go through a lot of 15 inch before getting 16 inch. Although, for all I care, I really just wish they'd rush along with the battleships. They're only getting one and update is a bit... ...slow. Yeah. Um, the thing is, I'm looking forward to quite a few more British ships. King George the King George V being at the top of my list. Or ships I'd like to see. expecting too many more battleships for Japan unless they plan to literally give us every single one of the 14 inch battleships which at this rate kind of looks like it this is not good this is not good, he's going to try and use the... no? He's going to dive on a friendly aircraft, not on me. And he's dodging anti-air like he should dodge anti-air, by just dodging and weaving. Not like this guy. Oh, the leopard. Yep, torpedoes. But this thing turns on a dime for a frigate. Yeah, there's gonna be more to in the water. I'm not quite sure how to dodge those. There's so many. Okay, I got one more, but that's gonna be... Yep, big hit. Other than that, I'm fine. Let's hope the Leopard gets taken out by the PT-200. Arms at one torpedoes on the way. Don't know where that shell went. It's clearly not on target. I also do still have the hedgehog launchers in the front. Okay. Which might be a fun party trick to use on the leopard. Leopard has been sunk, never mind. Okay, more torpedoes, I need to get a move on. Although those torpedoes will just impact the island. By the looks of it. 
artillery strike. That's not good. So I do need to keep moving. Torpedo warning, but that should not hit me. It should just hit the island. Okay. There is quite a bit of intense action. Not having sailed for just a few minutes. Ooh, that's a bit of a bad time to run aground. Is this thing alive or not? I guess I'll just check that PT6 as scenery. Okay, what is slamming me that hard? I think it's the Frunze. It is very much the Frunze. Fire under control. control then the flooding. And then I can repair my engines. We are critically damaged. Destroyer ahead. Three thousand meters. Target identified. Destroyer. Very three two zero. Four thousand feet. Dark all your health. And this is already more than an acceptable run in the spay. Because I, I get the feeling I'm not going to survive for too much longer. That courage breathing down my neck. Wouldn't it be funny if that just hit him? It's not actually almost did. There we go. The joy of having HVT. Sure, that's not good, that's not good because V990 storms are really fast. I need to get full power and turn. Because they're already here. And we should be fine. But the Purge, on the other hand, is going to end me. Yep. Uh, two one thousand pound bombs it is, I guess. The Corsairs are really good aircraft to take uh, for a naval. Although its bomb reload will be too long in arcade. Because it's a good fighter, it also carries two 1000 pound bombs. Let's start preparing for a attack run. I think the Corsair is going in for the stars as well. He got his wings ripped off, but did he get a bomb the courage to have a loving hell? Mm, let's throw one there. And let's just throw one here. Okay, got the leopard, but I missed, a f missed the other one. And yeah, I'm going to go back to base repair. Oh, the bow fighter has a little short reload on his bombs. That's very good. 
This might be my mainstay then for the lower PR coastals. And game is over before I could land. A decent chunk. I could also be researching the HMS Arrow instead, just to complete my tree, but I don't see much point in playing this vessel. But it should be a bit better at 2.7 than the Kim Kui is at 3.3. .3. I think the Kim Kui is 3.3 at least. I've also been hearing some really good things about Terra Nova, even though I didn't quite expect it to be... It doesn't really look like a good ship to just on paper, because it only fires high explosive. But somebody I know swears by it. Also not the best map for the Spey, but oh well. Better than nothing, I guess. I'm going to try the Grey Goose just once. Just to see what happens. Action stations, manual posts. The technically speaking, the tech free version of the ship is better. Dangerous shallows ahead. Destroyer ahead. What used to be 3-7, the um Action Station. Enemy spotted. The frigate? The Terra Nova? I said, yeah, it used to be 3 7 on release. I forgot there was so many. So many guns blaring away. I think I'll try to reset. Oop. I don't want to run aground because that will actually damage the crew. And we already lost a 12 for 12. Yeah, but was also finding out what it means to have automatic guns fired at you. Got the MZ-1 of artillery. That's perfect. Peter, but it's fine. This is a bit painful. Touch the arty by the looks of it. More torpedoes. One of three is looking at me, so I don't really want to poke out. PT-59 doesn't care though. On his vessel. I'm very badly positioned behind his cover, though. So she's going to a bit reposition herself. Damage control to repair party. Pump out flooded compartment. 
Repair party! Repair party! Begin damage control! Dangerous shadows ahead! BTA-12 seems like a next target for an artillery strike. Mm, this guy? 183 is pushing up by the looks of it. Your VS-10 is being arty, that's not good. MZ-1 is also pushing up, that's not good either. Although I can think I can torpedo an MZ-1. Artist strike got the A12, perfect. Yep, yeah, 183 just threw the RT on that guy. Let's see if we can maybe torpedo the MZ1. What is our torpedo speed? 84, good. Okay, and launch. Yep, he's too late to dodge it now. And I could just gun him down. That's a bit of a shame for a torpedo then. Let's see what can you do to the 183. We can shoot the other 183 as well. We are having a good run on the Grey Goose. Sadly, it's a rank 3. Not a rank 4. Tarion is in a aircraft, which is most likely going to kill me. Or if he's clever, he'll go for a destroyer first. Rather than a heavily wounded Grey Goose. What do I have behind me? Oh, is that a destroyer coming in here? We're going to R to the Asheville, because it seems like a more annoying target. There we go. He's going down, I think. Oh. Did I get bombed by my teammate or did I get shot by my teammate? I'm not quite sure. Oh well. Ooh, an HMS Vega. I don't really want to fight that. Seems like we got a full up there, didn't we? Yep. Port your helm. I steer port. Boat. That's a brave one three just sitting in the open like that. Although it's clearly working. There we go. Our Nepal doesn't seem to be paying attention. There we go. Now the Corsair. He's doing his best at dodging bombs, at dodging anti-air, I mean. 
And he's been taken out. And that's an SKR, because of course there it is. There are sadly very few battle ratings where you're not going to face that thing in Coastal. Especially if you're trying to grind Coastal. And because my bridge is being repaired at the same time, my fire repair is taking longer. Flying directly towards me. Enemy 410 is over there. That's both of them still seeing on the mini map. I believe this is going to be game over again. getting a lot of victories, sadly. I'm just going to slow down my research, of course. Look at that. And all because... Well, yeah, I earned 2,000 RP in it. But in, in fact, I only gained 800. That's what a 60% loss does to you when researching two tiers hired. So I should really only be using rank 4 or 5. Well, can I actually replace the Grey Goose with a Grey Fox? No, because that's a bow fighter slot. Doesn't mean I can still not do it. Might take a Wellington with us, because why not? Faramau is rank 3, so let's replace it with something. I'm not gonna take Peacock because it'll up Jeremy. Uh, this farm was kind of fun, but it's of course a Wellington cruise slot. What about this one? Typhoon cruise slot. So let's just take a fighter in this one and let's see if we can replace a Typhoon. Vickers is not actually something you want for coastal vessels. So we'll just take that one. First by HMS Pay, I guess. There's only premium I got. It's all going all right for Arcade, I'm just not winning a lot of matches. The ship for sea. So I'm getting like decent results, but because I lose the match, I don't get any decent RP bonus out of it. Helm, oh no, this seems more like it. No enemy destroyers yet. So I'm just going to try and move towards Charlie as fast as possible. I 
you know, ever since I discovered that the RP gain in, in arcade is pretty much the same as in realistic, I've actually started enjoying grinding ghostal battles again. It's still pretty rough at these battle ratings, but it's so much more doable. Mainly because you'll actually fight in coastal vessels. Which you just don't in realistic. It does gain you less a cell, yes. But since I'm playing a premium vessel with premium account, doesn't matter. But it does make less a cell. But it's like if I just look at the multipliers, right, right at the bottom of the stat card, the RP multiplier is identical between arcade and realistic. I just don't know if ac if the actual reward for actions is different or not between the two game modes. But I don't think it is. From what I've seen. Let's load the VT. I don't need sap against my opponents. Your helm. Stay Although I do actually hope there will be some opponents left by the time I get to the battle. This right, there's not going to be any enemies left. Come on, leave some for me. Now those should be targets I have to deal with. They're still kind of far away. Now it could be a little bit evil and actually let them have their course so they thin out my teammates a bit. So I'll have more opportunities later. Well now. If that isn't a juicy target to face. The thing is that one does have torpedoes. So it going bow in like that towards me is a... Um, Telltale sign as it's trying to launch torpedoes at me. There it goes. Saw one. Saw two. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and turn wide here. But I think those torpedoes are already missing. Yeah, those torpedoes are missing me. I don't think they're going to hit the MTB either. Which I might be getting destroyed before my shells land. Behind. Also, that's apparently not a compartment I wanted to hit. There we go. Don't just park right in front of me like that. I'll start turning broadside in for the aircraft. I can get my firepower on target. But let's deal with some of more coasters first. 
still not quite used to arcade speeds. Oh, there's a vessel behind me. Trying to sneak up on me. And another one over there. Yeah, this matchmaking feels very wrong for this ship. It's lovely when they fly in a straight line towards you. Yes, it's, uh, not enough turn up, sadly. Because with that test, you do really need quite a few people to just trust test it. And apparently, there weren't enough. Again, there is another test coming in like several hours. Well, 10 hours, I think. 10 and a half. I'm going to participate in it, or planning to, I might actually not be able to. But I'm planning to participate in it, but I'm not going to stream that. I don't want to stream so early in the day. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. This is this is criminal what I'm doing. I, I don't know what how I got this matchmaking, but I'm not complaining. There should be some fat amounts of RP. Wait, did I just splash on my friendly? God damn it. <laughs> my VT just splashed on a friendly aircraft. I can't steer my ship. Because the bridge is knocked out. But yeah, I think that's probably going to be matched soon. Oh, I shouldn't have shot that far. On the 410, good. Yeah, Zero, you're not going to land in that cap. You are not landing in that. And I'm not getting the cap either. Ooh, that wouldn't have been bad if you actually kept flying on course. There we go. And an assist, more than fine. Enemy mine ahead. Did it just say that? It's a friendly mine ahead. And there we go. That's going to be a good amount of us RP. I'm sure of it. I keep in the cell should be pretty good. That's what I call pretty good amount of RP in a cell. There's another Battle Pass challenge open as well again, this one. 
Not quite sure how I'm going to do that one. Okay, Mediterranean port. Not too bad for the spay, although a lot of destroyers. The ship for sea. Engines, flank speed. Potentially Presenden, okay. Both friends and Presenden are not really destroyers I want to fight. Okay, I'm going to shot up by the Frunze and Brissenden, but we're going to just try and shrug it off. We're angling in a bit. And yeah, I was about to say, hopefully, not get my bridge taken out mid turn like I just had. But I should at least throw the aim off for a few seconds. You really want to get into cover there. I took off 50% of my crew already. Jeez. Okay, hard right turn. And we're just not going to repair and I've got bridge again until we are in solid cover. Isn't we send in a 4 0? Do we have any 4 0s? Hmm, we do not. Oh, we do. Okay, it's just Kalp. Oof. Oh, no, actually, no, that's the same as, as Presendum. Keep thinking that's the um, Grafton, but no. Damage control to repair party. Pump out flooded compartment. Am I being arted? Repair party. Repair party. Begin damage control. Mercy. Certainly looks like it. But we are fine. No direct hits from the RT. But yeah, I think just looking at their ships compared to ours, I'm kind of hesitant. Kind of doubt that we're going to win this. Especially with a Frunze, Kalp. Oh, that's fun. Completely didn't realize it. I'm curious, were my gunners on all targets or not? Because my gunners were on all targets and I didn't open fire. Hmm.
And it's gonna be me yet very soon, I think. Oh, my plenty must have been knocked out. Explains that. Seems a fifth, and uh, of course, the story just takes me out. Okay, this map is not going to end too well for my team, I can already tell. I don't have any air spawns either yet, and I think I'm just gonna leave it. Because this map is just not that forgiving for coastals. If the enemy has a strong destroyer presence, you cannot get coastals in there at all. They're on lockout, but that's fine. You know what? Let me just get a backup for the spay. And we can get right into it again. This is better. Prepare the ship for battle. Engines. Flank speed. Starboard all. Part of starboard. My gunners are on all targets. Okay. Destroyer. Port. Twelve thousand meters. Action station. Enemy spotted. An interesting quirk about the AI gunners is that they will never open fire on a target that you have not seen like in your field of view. Like, they, they will never shoot at a target that you, you've never spotted. So that V990, because I spotted him the second I heard the torpedo warning, my AI gunners never spotted him either. Even though realistically they should have. Although at the same time he was like behind me, my guns were aiming forward. Might have just taken too long for the guns to rotate. Yeah, doesn't matter. This is also not too good for us. Lots and lots of enemy destroyers and very few coastal vessels. Enemy torpedoes out. So let's just adjust our course a bit. I'm actually starting to get very tempted to actually research the HMS HMAS arrow first and by spading that ship to actually get the black pool. I think I might just do that because I can get the HMAS arrow with rank 3s as well. That still means... Eh, I'll see. I'll see what kind of vessels I have at that PR. Aircraft that is not lit up for some reason. There we go. Um, for boats. Maybe. Maybe could be fun. Okay, didn't even have to worry about it.
That is not nearly enough lead, and that's also a sap shell, I think. Uh, that should be better. Although he's now, of course, changing course. Go, got him. Need to be careful with torpedoes from PT6. I'm not too worried about 20 mil fire with my damage model. So maybe let's just let the AI work over the SF40. We have a Shonan. Oh, we do have a Shonan. I quite like the Shonan, although it's not really that good of a vessel. I still kind of like it. There is still a PT boat or two around. Do we have spawn? We almost have enough spawn points for something like a Wellington. Which could be funny. Okay, that is a fairly dangerous frigate. So let's just keep this fortress in between me and it. And maybe with a bit of luck it'll get so close I can depth charge it. Which is still be coastal vessels around. Just don't know where. There they are. I just don't have line of sight on them. Turbine. Too worried about it. Thinks it's very low rate of fire, and I'm about to get into cover anyways. So let's just fire a few to maybe suppress his guns. Okay, so we are going to just sit here and wait. Although maybe that lit should to be. I'm just going to test where do my. Where did, that th where did that thing land, roughly? Quite a distance ahead. Yep, quite a distance ahead. I'm actually already too close. Let's actually focus up Clemson down. If it didn't just get bombed. Engine seems mostly below the waterline on the other side. Yeah, that waterline indicator isn't quite correct. Because I should still be able to shoot his engines here. Although. Any aircraft incoming? Yep. Yeah. There goes a wingtip. 
Can he recover? It does not matter. Mm, let's see, can we do a long shot? That's not a lead. That's high enough? Nope, that is perfect. Do it again. So they're keeping an eye on the minimap for those frigates. I need to keep an eye on his frigates. Because that one is getting close. Oh, that's a turbine. Oh, I got him. With my last salvo. More aircraft incoming. Okay, I need to be very careful about the turbine as well. Although at this point, the game's gonna be over, isn't it? Hello. Okay, paint is the entire ocean white. And game's over. I am still closer to getting the arrow compared to the black pool. So let's swap over to the arrow. And what could I do instead? I could do literally 2 3, and that's it. Which is still destroyer battle rating, but I could take the MTB 422. And the dark aggressor is also not too bad. So let's see if we can make an interesting lineup for that. I'm just going to put this in for now. Brantford, but that of course doesn't have the... There we go, Dark Aggressor. Brantford I'm going to replace with this thing. So this has to be an aircraft. It just has to be. Mm. That doesn't look too bad. I want to replace the Faramal because I hate the Faramal with a passion. The Bowfighter. I actually equipped a torpedo on the Bowfighter, just for fun. Uh, dark Aggressor is definitely something I want to use, MTB is something I want to use, and we've got a Strike Aircraft and a Fighter. Let's see what we can do with this, if this will be any fun or not. Because yeah, whilst spading the arrow and just playing it, I'll have maximum efficiency towards the Black Pool as well. And then I can do a lineup of arrow and D697. Maybe have some backups on the arrow, and that should be fine. Fiji. I like Fiji. Late spawn. I need to switch that off again. I need to remember to switch off join in progress. Hello. Um, can I get the torpedo targeting soon, please? There we go. I need to get the hell out of dodge.
Man, I'm already sunk. With a bit of luck though, my torpedo should reach the Liscom, but yeah. No, they didn't. Well, this is not going to go well, is it? I can, however, artillery the Liscom. Although it's moving again by the looks of it. She's sitting on A. Yeah, this is a very bad match to spawn into. Practically already losing. A very dangerous gun to be sitting in front of. There we go, knocked it out. And he immediately repaired it. That's, that's good. Repair party, repair party, begin damage control. All hands, we have been critically damaged. I stay starboard. Engines, all stop. Repair station. We are critically damaged. Boat! Ahead! 1,000 meters! Port all! Helm port all! Aye! Dangerous shallows ahead! Helm it chips! Aye! Guard them all! Guard them all! He just got blasted. They're both the S701 and me. Scum is not really all that vulnerable to torpedo attack, but I can try. Turn away, because I think the Liscom might see them coming. Try to artillery the SC-497. Got some hits, I think. Lower the gun, lower the gun, there we go. Torpedoes must have missed, if I were to guess. That L2 is actually really damn close. So the thermal doesn't realize there's a torpedo on the way. Which it does not seem to realize. Or maybe you've realized too late. Yep, it realized way too late there was a torpedo on the way. And now we can have some torpedo fun, although I don't think there's any targets for me to torpedo. Oh, there is, but mm, I can bomb it as well. We have a Hoquium. Quite a rare find. This is a frigate I really want to try and get. These frigates are very difficult to research. Although now that I've found that Arcade is doable, it should be. Yeah. I just need to work on all my naval trees, I want to get it all of them done at some point. Now, 500 pound bombs, sadly enough, are not going to do a lot of damage to the Frunze. I 
Or it'll sink it out, right? That's also a possibility. And because the bow fighter is seen as a strike fighter, my bomb reload is pretty quick. Try and bomb some of these coastal vessels. Maybe the one that's annoying our Hawkwim. Although I'm not quite sure what that Hawkwim is doing. Because you'd think by now he'd be able to deal with a single coastal. Yeah, there we go. Bomb velocity is quite high, but I'm being chased by a fighter. But what we do is, since we have a friendly frigate over there. We are going to fly over our frigate. We're gonna fly up high so he can see him. Come on. Although he should have broken off now, didn't he? Where did he go? There he go, there he went. Alrighty, and the match is going to be over before I can respawn. Yep. And I need to switch off join in progress. Yeah, I got very little research done because I lost my ships quite quickly. Or could it also just be because they're such low rank vehicles? 272, of course, that's a premium. Eh, it might be because of the rank that I'm getting so. But no, the MTB should be pretty alright. Of course, I didn't do anything in the MTB. No, not yet. I haven't heard anything about French coastals just yet. I haven't I have not really been keeping track of the data mines either, but I have not heard a single thing about French coastals. Yeah, I was going to switch off. Where is it? Common battle setting. There we go. Uh, I have seen another French float plane in the data mines. Like I, I don't know how to describe it. Actually, let me try and find the image of it. Because I know somebody posted the image of it on my Discord a while earlier. Where was it again? There it is. Okay. Probably not that interesting to most of you, but whilst I'm sitting in the queue anyways. I don't actually know what this one is called though. Actually you know there's part in on the Discord as well, hold on. The GL812. So, this thing apparently was found in the files. The GL812. 
Looks kind of cool. Quite an old float plane though by the looks of it. Curious what ship it will be we'll find it on, if we'll find it on any of the ships at all. But yeah, it was found in the files. And just in time we got into a match. I'm kind of suspecting it to be the battleship as well, but does that battleship have a catapult? Didn't actually check. Fiji again, that's good. Uh, let me just quickly check if I could see a catapult on that thing. Mm, I don't see one. I don't see one. Action stations, manual posts. Oh, you are? Speed. Damn it, you are. Hold your helm. I steer for dangerous shallows ahead. Boat ahead. I don't want to fight that not yet. Action stations. Enemy spotted. Please, God, no. Keep going. Yeah, um, I've tested it out myself as well. It seems quite, quite formidable. The battleship HP change. Yeah, that was expected, wasn't it? Did any of my teammates move up? Of course they didn't. Why would they? I'm not doing too well in the MTB 422. Not well at all. Starboard your helm. I steer starboard. Boat ahead. Two thousand meters. Action station. Where's Danny Sinks? Enemy spotted. Dangerous shallows ahead. Oh, I'm not orienting myself correctly. Hold on. I thought it was on the other side of the map. Enemy forces have captured a zone. Boats! Port! 1,000 meters! Port your helm! I steer port! But the Shawn Horse didn't get that change? Really? That would be very strange. I have no clue what just sang that as a 40, but I'm not going to complain about it. Come on. Why is the Shawn Horse not getting... Okay. That seems a bit random. Again, it might get it on the live server. It's a bit weird that the Sharnhorst... I guess the Sharnhorst isn't that susceptible to the HE spam compared to some of the other ships. Doesn't matter. That's not something you should do for changes. If they say battleships are getting that change, then the Charnhurst should be getting that change as well. Because they're not saying it specifically to combat HE um, damage from the zombie bots or anything like that. They're just saying, oh, it's a change. It's a change to survivability. Oh, 
target identified. Boat. Bearing 102. 2,000 meters. Multiple strategic zones are captured. Engines, all stop. Boat! Ahead! 2,000 meters! Worst timing. Well, time to torpedo, let's come and not get artillery, hopefully. Oh boy. I think the Liska might have beached himself. Or did he manage to dislodge himself? Nope. Torpedo hit him. Air attack alert. Air attack got shot down. Port your helm. I stay for dangerous shallows ahead. Engines, all back. I've reloaded the torpedoes, perfect. That's one. Two. Two. Gonna ditch the last torpedo just so I can reload the whole set. Couldn't go up fast enough. And now we'll just motor on towards the sea point. Although I think. Did it just call a PBY torpedo bomber? Okay. That guy has been in an A36 for quite some time now. Yep. Oh. I have my torpedoes back again, but he is targeting me. And I don't have a good torpedo launch angle. Yet. Helm, hard upon. Hard upon. Aye. Helm it is. What is my speed again? It's 84, isn't it? Yep. Also, I'm well within 4 kilometers of him, so he should be getting sunk by an aircraft, apparently. Fine by me. No clue. Both the Liscom and the... I forget what the other one's called. But the Isles and the Flower Claws both have a detail damage model. Both still at A3. And it is kind of confusing. Brantford, that's the one. Liscom and Brantford both have the detail damage model and both still at low BR. I will say, to be honest, it's, they're not that stupidly tough. Of course, they're much tougher than they would be with the coastal damage model, but they're still very much sinkable with even 20 mils. Just a lot harder. 
but not impossible like on the M802. It's a bit weird how they pick and choose what gets the destroyer damage model, what gets the coastal damage model. Or should I say the blue water damage model and coastal damage model? Comes a lot worse, but of course, I'm not getting anything done in the MTB 422. Thank you very much, Cringe. That's greatly appreciated. I'm, st I'm just not used to the American PT boats again with the 40 mil in the rear. I'd like some time to get used to again. Yeah, the PT-174 the PT is quite good. I don't have it myself, though. Never really got around to getting it. Okay, so I just have to be a whole lot more careful with how I sail this thing. Probably even sail it backwards. Action stations, manual posts. Engines, I'm up there looking at the Gumkari and the AFD for that matter. Yep, my. Jesus. Cutting somebody off is apparently not familiar to that guy. I'm not in his vocabulary. I got some hits of my artillery. Oh, it's lovely. Let's let this AFD pass first. A pretty good name, actually. Lord Tapeface. sailing backwards into battle will make me late to the action. But later, better late than nothing at all. to get the hell out of dodge here. That's the other bonus of driving backwards into battle, you can get out of it and so much quicker. Damage 
closer to victory. All packed. We have been critically damaged. Bomber! Enemy vessel sunk. Air attack alert! Another torpedo incoming, several torpedoes even. There's a lot of them being grouped around here, so I might try and RT that. Although it seems most of them just got sunk, but I can still RT it anyways. Because why wouldn't I? Just want to make sure that the IL-2 doesn't do anything funky. Actually, that's the player in the cross that we saw a few matches ago. I was complaining about it. Oh, complaining. Starboard your helm. Aye, steer starboard. Attacker, ahead. 7,000 meters. Be careful about mines because I do think I saw a few mine layers rolling around. Yeah, where? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, that is definitely not really helpful. Not helpful at all because there's mines in the area. That seems I sailed past them. No longer getting the warning. I have no clue where the cap edge is. There we go. Ooh, a lechte. Oh, light. And get out of dodge. Ace up. Come on. If the torpedoes don't get MDR, he probably will. Enemy forces have captured a zone. Target there we go. Boat. Ahead. Port your helm. I steer port. Starboard your helm. I steer starboard. Are critically damaged. Air attack alert. Dangerous shallows ahead. There's an enemy PTO behind us. There we go. Brentford, okay. Time to bomb something, I guess. Although the enemy has a lot of aircraft up.
They have, they have more aircraft up than ships. What is my best anti-air vessel in here? I think it's this Faramal, isn't it? Looks like it. That B3 is probably going to burn out. Then we still have a B of Fontaine and a Stuka up. Another shipwreck doing something funny. I am going to throw both of my bombs on the Corvette. Bombs away. There we go. And I've got a beautiful 9 in my tail. Luckily an E1, so it's just machine guns. It hurts a bit. There we go. Can't turn to get that guy, sadly. There's a lot of engine power. Hello, ah, Tiger Tank. As you're seeing, I'm currently in a bit of a pickle. Now, how am I going to deal with these guys? Uh, I could get into a fighter. No, nothing at all. Just saw it pop in his chat. So you say hi, so I'm going to say hi back. Mm, let's go with this guy first then. I think this guy should have some decent amount of anti-air. God, I should have first. Okay, he's out. The other guy still had the bomb though. Damn it. Stalemate it is, I guess. Seeing as nobody has any... God, that guy still had a coastal. Uh, this will do. Yeah, of course, there's two enemy coastals now, and we have literally nobody left. LS3 is definitely easier to bomb. Well, quite an exciting match. I did get some more done on the MTB 422, so I should be getting a bit more RP towards the arrow. There we go, it's a bit better. So I might actually go back to 3-3 and grind it with this as well anyways. Get more RP out of it.
battle already started. I was just going to check if the arrow actually had anything, any interesting weapons, but it doesn't seem like it. Secure the ship for sea. Engines, flank speed. Several enemy destroyers. Destroyer, ahead, nine thousand meters. Action. Now, of course, it puts me on the outside spot, exactly where I don't want to be. Helm midships, aye. I'm not too worried about those destroyers shooting at me. Destroyer is a bit closer on the other hand, might be better a bigger problem. Charlie is being captured. I'm not sure if I can hit the thing at 4 kilometers, but I might as well try. Yeah, that's gonna hit that fortress now. Enemy Mutsuki, enemy Jinnot. Or so much the same thing. Chikiko just spawned in. Outside of my effective range of these guns. Although that guy is getting close enough. I think it's a Clemson. No, it's a Leopard. Mitsuki is also getting close. Close enough for me to sink him. There we go. Sunk pretty quickly too. And this leopard is probably next. If I had to choose. Although it sounds like I'm getting shot at by something else. I did not just see a TF round explode next to me, did I? Who's shooting with TF? Target identified. 
Patrol vessel. Bearing. Three zero zero. Six thousand meters. Go. And that Moscow seems to be getting rushed by a 201M, which might have depth charges to throw at him. Try to mine him. Destroyer ahead, eight thousand meters. Port your helm. I steer port. It's good lead, but it won't hold the game of sap. BT on the other hand. That's enough lead. Too much lead. He's running in, he's probably launching torpedoes. So we'll keep good out. Don't see the white trail of the torpedo yet. Okay, no torpedo trail spotted. PT6 on the other hand. Peter trails visible yet. Oh, never mind, there they are. You turn in towards the torpedo. That'll hurt if it hit me. And obliterated them. Steering damage, but it's fine. Kind of. The Peter's in the water and he's turned the other way. Although those two Peter's don't seem too well aimed. Although that front one is a bit scary. Oh! The G5 on the flank! It's what beat at me. Um, do I use my backup? Not really. Although, on the other hand, what else am I going to use? Brave Border, probably. These are all really tough targets to try and sink. Especially if they know I'm here. And we already know the Brave Border is very fragile. So fragile I'm actually kind of surprised it's still 3-3. It's really not that good of a coastal vessel. Identified. Boat. 
can get a lock on the BT-15s, let's fire at him instead. There there is. Target identified. A fighter ahead. Here to one M is still up. There it is. a bit of a dangerous bomber. But he's still quite a ways out there. G5 running circles around our T22. got shot down by our fighter. Oh, he's got some threats around the capture point. Although they don't seem too interested in the capture point. Not yet at least. prevent him from getting the cap. He's not going to get it, but he might decap it. Unless I can sink him real quick. There we go. And that's game over. And I think I am going to call it here for tonight. On a very good match result for me. 7000 RP. Backup and glorious. Hmm. Might have to use it at some point. But that's a good match to end it on. So, it's a bit of a shame we couldn't do the event that was planned for today because of a low turnout on his end. Um next so this Friday, what am I going to stream on this Friday? You have those people planning to boycott Friday, but I don't plan to. I'm just going to play. Probably Blue Water again. Mm, I still actually need to finish my American 
refinish my American Tech 3. So I might just play some 6 3. To actually finally spade the Newport News in North Dakota. Especially the Newport News, I just want to get it spaded and over with. On the way to the Nevada. Yeah, I think that's that's the plan for Friday. Get to Nevada and refinish my American Blue Water. So, as usual, thank you all for coming to watch. And I'll see you all on Friday.